is how to prick out your brassicas. Now, the brassicas that I sewed about two weeks ago uh, have grown absolutely beautifully and now they're big enough to be pricked out of their seed tray and put into three inch pots. So let me just show you how some of them are doing. These ones, I'm going to show you these ones here. Now these are some calabrese here and as you can see, they're about an inch tall. If you're a little bit worried that they're a bit too small, then wait until they get a little bit larger, but not much larger, maybe a maximum of like an inch and a half before you prick them out. These little ones here are the brew kale, and as you can see, they are actually still far too small to prick out, so I won't be doing these ones today. But I have got uh, some Brussels to do, and I've got some cauliflowers to do as well but I'm, I, I'll prick them out exactly the same. So I'll just show you how to do some of them and any brassicas that you've got, just prick out in exactly the same way. Here I've got my three inch pot. All I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with some multi-purpose compost, fill it to the top, give it a tap down so that if there are any holes down the bottom of the pot, it will start to settle. Give it a gentle pat down. If you need to fill up the pot a little bit more, then do. Just give it a gentle pat just to level it off. And then what you need to do is you need to make a hole in the middle. You can either use your finger or you can use uh, a dibber or a pencil. It's entirely up to you, whatever you have to hand. But make sure that the hole is deep. So if you're using your finger, just push your finger down as far as it will go. And then hopefully when you bring your finger out, the hole will stay there. Now we need to start getting these little seedlings out. Now you have to be very careful when you get these seedlings out. You can either use a pencil or a stick, something nice and small. So I'm going to use just this. I did have, where's that gone? Oh, here it is. No, I'm going to use this instead. Okay. So what you need to do to get your seedlings out is you just put your, whatever you're using into the soil down as far as you can get and just gently lift them out. Just move them very, very slowly. Now just remember that these are very, very delicate little things. So don't go sort of pushing down, don't tip them all out, just very gently, just sort of encourage them, I think is the word, encourage them out. And when some start to come out, just very carefully with your finger and your thumb, just take hold of a leaf and don't pull because if you pull, then you'll break the seedling. Using whatever you're using to, to coax them out, just gently push from the bottom and guide from the top. Now, if you do break some of the, the roots, some of the tiny little roots, don't worry, okay? As long as you don't break the big, long one. Now this, I hope you can see this, you can see here there's, the, there's a seed there where it was, it's grown from that, and then that's the big long root. So we now need to put this seedling into our little three inch pot. So again, to hold it by its, its little leaf and pop it in to the hole that you've made. Now you want to uh, transplant these and put them in deep. So we don't want them to be up like this. We want them to be down as low as they can. So you want the leaves to be just above the soil. So just fill in just around the little seedling very, very carefully. And then when you've filled in the space, just gently firm the compost round. And as you can see, 
my little seedling is just, the leaves are just above the soil. You want it like that because then it will make the plant a lot more sturdy and you won't then get a wonky plant. So that's one done. I'll carry on doing the rest of these and when I've finished, I will show you. Well, I've just finished potting up my calabrese. I've managed to pot up 24 and they're all in their little three inch pots. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to water them. So now that they're in a three inch pot, you can actually water them from the bottom so that the water gets absorbed up by the compost and this will encourage the roots to grow down and to fill up the pot. So these will stay in the greenhouse until they're ready to go outside. So that'll be about another six weeks possibly before they go outside into one of the raised beds. So um, I'll keep you updated on their progress. They do look quite small in one of these pots at the moment, but don't worry, they will soon start to fill the, the pot and because we've just got their little baby leaves at the moment, very soon you'll get the all the other leaves, lots of other leaves will start to come as well and they'll start to fill the pot and start to look really, really healthy and nice and, and good. So um, just keep an eye on them, especially when it's hot. It's outside, I think it's about 20 at the moment, but inside the greenhouse, it's knocking on 30. So I've got the doors and the windows open. So do keep an eye on them. And um, if you do water from the bottom, wait for, or when you do water from the bottom, make sure that you don't overwater them because that will sort of stunt their root growth. So make sure that you wait until the water from the tray has all gone before you put some more in. But it's again, because they're quite small, it's watering little and often. So I'll keep you updated on their progress and when I get to plant them outside, I will show you. Well, I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.